welcome to another video my name is Daniel and this is the wild and survival channel this is the last overnight we're going to have this year my 31 overnight this year I've been thick two weeks lastly I'm outside perhaps it actually get better without being outside as you can see I have uh, set up all of my things there's my bushcraft bag, there's my camera bag and I have a tarp, new tarp from Nur Tent that I just got I have set, up, set it up halfway I have a wool blanket that is not really necessary I have a, a liner with my sleeping pad from Xpeed my down quilt and the fjellduken uh, wrap up inside the or well, the field you can wrap up the the top wheel so I'm going to sleep tonight uh, outside I'm going to just tell you how to sleep comfortable in winter time and how I do it rule number one is uh, choose of a place to stay if you're going to sleep in a tarp I choose a forest like this where the wind doesn't um, irritate me so much and where I can actually have a fire that is blowing very very well uh, mostly I choose also a place that is dense with wood uh, if the weather uh, is kind of windy and it is a big chance of uh, be raining I'll probably choose a place like this tomorrow I don't know if it's going to rain or not, so I'm going to stay here. Uh, another thing that is good to know is that you have a lot of wood and I have a lot of wood here. I already made uh, care of some. And water. It's winter time so it's not going to be a, pro a problem to actually boil some water. But it, there is actually not uh, water not long from here that I can also use to to just uh, fill up my uh, my canteen. Uh, rule number two is uh, to make a good fire. In this case, I have um, put uh, some V logs. Uh, this wood here is kind of wet, but it's drying, and it kind of the the bo the two of them is going to actually burn that wood for a long time. So it's kind of the same the. Uh, um, use the same principle as a uh, long fire or uh, log fire but I cannot do in that with a V instead and th when those two are depleted it's going to go for the, the two others and you actually need to take your time to actually make a fire and uh, and uh, make a good fire from start especially in winter time Just beside there is a lot of wood some I can actually use that is dead. Probably I would take some and put it on the top. Kind of a little bit wet so it's good to actually put on top to dry them as much as possible. I have a don't have a Christmas tree with me here but <laughs> I kind of use it in this uh, tree to just have some Christmas uh, uh, mood <laughs> or pint so the tarp is quite big from no tent and uh, kind of uh, put it like this uh, to a tree there and a couple of pegs there as well this uh, tarp actually follows with some seam seal so you can seam your uh, uh, waterproof even more, it's quite light. So, I got my axe, new axe for my wife. Really nice uh, little mid size axe. Kind of the 
uh, something in between the big axe that I have and the hatchet. I kind of just what I needed. And he always weighs 500 grams, so really nice. And uh, yeah, I also got a uh, light from my kit, a little bit lighter than the normal. So, um, I uh, have some water here, I am going to boil, to make some uh, food, some warm food, really soon, a little bit early yet. So uh, don't, don't make something fancy, just um, uh, boil some uh, dry tech. I have a couple of beers with me today as well. Um, I'm going to sum up this year, uh, next year as well. Now it's getting nice and toasty. getting dark it's almost three o'clock but uh, really dark now yeah I can boil some water now So, I have uh, one beer here, and you see it's called Newborn Kong. Let's see if we can see that. Newborn Kong Whiskey Barrel Heavy? No, I don't see that from here. Heavy, yes, Imperial Stout is 11.5%. This uh, is Barrel Agent. And I'm going to try to open this with my Sami knife that I have over here. There we go. See if we can just cut some of those this thing here so I don't cut myself. Okay. I have a proper glass to drink this kind of beer, so it's quite dark actually. And it's for a special occasion, you know, every uh, last days of Christmas in my channel I've been... Ooh, it smells really nice, really sort of like whiskey. I just need to post some from the Instagram as well because I normally take some uh, picture with this camera this is the cat uh, s41 it's not a very good camera and I'm not very good at that but uh, this is what I have this is a Mac from uh, uh, from uh, the north of Norway as well it's just a regular Christmas beer this one is a little bit more heavy. I'm going to try to taste this now. Oh, you can see really the the V uh, fire is really doing a good work. So I think this is ready as well. Boiling already. Ooh, it really smells whiskey. I don't know what kind. But you can smell the smell the bear beer, the beer and the whiskey at the same time. Cheers, guys! Hope you have a nice Christmas. It's almost. I think
think it's the 27th of December today. It's around minus 3, minus 4 outside here in Norway. I hope you have a nice Christmas. Uh, glad you joined me in my 31 overnight this year. Let's try. Ooh, sour. Really sour. Not not what I really expect, expected for the taste of an um, imperial stout. I think it's really well balanced. The taste after taste is whiskey and this this uh, beer is phenomenal. And it's really nice. Not very strong. The body is really nice. I've never tasted something like this. I believe this cost around 17, 17, 1, 7 dollars around that in the Vimonobule. It's a special occasion video. I'm kind of using my phone as well to, to see if I can uh, see myself when I'm talking because the display of the G9 is actually broken. Uh, that's a shame. But anyway, I feel much better now. Much better. I'm a little bit. Uh, you know, in the nose, but uh, feeling much better. I think it's very healthy to when you're feeling not feeling well, and you have a very big pole cold, and it's about to just sometimes just keep there that cold. So uh, I think it's healthy to get out, and we probably breathe some fresh air and get out. Uh, and um, actually, um, I think you get better. You actually feel that way. Or it could be much, much worse. Uh, but uh, tomorrow is Sunday, so <laughs> I can warm myself. Now it's pouring really down. Let's sum up this year. First, I would like to thank all my subscribers. Uh, you know, if you don't know, I have two channels. Uh, I think the restricted channels is around 3,600 subscribers, and that means I have gained like 2,500 subscribers there in just a year. The last December. I gain a lot of subscribers and mostly due to a bushcraft job, the super shelter that I built. I haven't uh, 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 thrown it apart, uh, that's why I will be visiting that shelter soon. But I have sold one of my cars and that's why, what's also been keeping me from getting there because you actually need a car to get there. I uh, started this channel uh, as a primary channel uh, for uh, mostly a couple of reasons uh, because I wanted to make a hunting chap channel and separate I could always uh, just keep it up there but doesn't matter and I, I started here to just uh, try a new tactic and see how I can actually make uh, 1000 subscribers hopefully in this channel. I uh, believe I have like 88 now. It doesn't really matter because it's not really about subscribers and in a way it also is because you have to have some goals you know you have to keep forward. And uh, mostly I like to uh, grow this channel up as well and post hunting and Restricting things or things that is going to be demonetized on the other on the other channel. Uh, so I was supposed to hunt this uh, year, but I choose not to hunt 
uh, I I choose to use uh, my spare money from the uh, the house that I, we sold uh, for me to go skydiving, and I have the A license, so I will be making a a skydiving uh, jump uh, probably in January. It's very cold to be skydiving now. It's mostly because of the hand goes gets really freezing. Uh, but it's uh, I have a altimeter. I need to have a suit, a skydiving suit. Uh, mostly I need to rent the things that I'm doing, but it's not really uh, a big problem. Um, but uh, next year will be uh, both hunting and skydiving, and hopefully diving as well, scuba diving as well, because I really loved those hobbies. But this year is uh, been uh, mostly about uh, me moving uh, the expedition and do a lot of trips uh, this year. And next year is going to be mostly the same. Uh, but I'm going to keep it up. I'm going to post a lot of videos. I have a new sponsor that I just got. I have uh, the tarp from New Tent that I'm going to use a little more. Really nice light sail nylon tent uh, tarp. And I got the dome as well, which is my base camp for my like more of a base camp uh, outdoors bug out situation. Or if I'm going to stay with my family in a longer period, so I'm going to use that. Ah, nice. I kind of running my channel in a way that I like, you know, um, so I can just keep it going and kind of uh, talking of giving a little bit of uh, something different, you know, from every channel because I have really my interest. I a person, career advisor, I really knows his interest and his personalities I know my weaknesses I, I know my strengths a bit kind of a low and highs in life often and I'm not afraid of telling you that uh, uh, I believe it's like a month ago now I have like a panic stress attack and I posted a video about that and that was really new to me to make it done and lately it's been a lot of these terms uh, in Christmas time uh, uh, talk about all, all those uh, difficult things to talk about in life and we persons kind of don't know don't need to be locking uh, the bad things away in a way you need to be aware of of those things as well um, uh, kind of uh, being taking control of your life um, and this kind of uh, Canadian prepper that is actually subscribing to my channel now um, he said it uh, very well in last uh, last video <laughs> You need to take your shit together. <laughs> so it's kind of uh, yeah, I need to do that sometimes actually. Well, this is how life I is, guys. It's uh, not about uh, <sighs> candy and beer all the time. It's about having its, its ups and down. And that's mostly also because why we also seek the outdoors to perhaps um, charge some batteries or perhaps just get some energy. And uh, like I said, it's not for everyone to be outdoors either. Uh, but for some time, it's very good to get outdoors, to get reset, uh, to seek energy especially if you are an introvert um, introverted person and to seek some pause if you have a bad life take a break and get to know yourself 
from the hard side and the good sides in life because it will make you stronger and that's also why I'm also very started this channel and started to talk about um, mental health or um, um, yeah space thing is not so important will be but mental health is obviously very important uh, to do outdoors um, it's not about only the right gear you have to have the right mind and take care of societies no no it's not a thing to avoid society it's a thing to to actually know that you have a life away from society as well and if you have the outdoors like here in Norway it's a good thing to to actually just come and feel the freedom that's very important for me actually to have your my freedom is to go outside for my wife it isn't for my wife is more freedom to stay <laughs> on her couch and uh, doing her things you know her life but appreciate to be outdoors but not in the same way that I do and it's really important to separate and to love each other's interest and I'm kind of uh, learning all the time how to actually be good to my wife and kids and everyone but I cannot do that all the time and, and the same with them with me so this is kind of the reflection you also get outdoors to just be outdoors yeah. okay but anyway I have some gear now I have to change my camera uh, battery because um, it, the battery got up so um, I have new gear uh, this is uh, my new headlamp that I got from my kids it's uh, really nice because I can just keep it on my neck uh, it's rechargeable it's not as powerful as the uh, other one that I have I'm going to do a review once I taste it a little bit more because winter time is kind of the obvious setting to test this kind of things out new jack as well I have the Stormberg down jacket from Dock. I believe I paid like 60 uh, bucks for the for the jacket um, it's kind of a, a, a waterproof outer layer I believe it's perhaps 10D uh, so it's kind of a ripstop uh, uh, good layer it doesn't get wet too much as the storm bag did and it, you can see actually the bubbles of the 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 water just laying on top there I don't think I can zoom that much in but uh, it's about the same uh, uh, warmth because the other one was a little bit actually more fuel power this is 800 uh, of uh, a power for about the smoke there and um, I bought it uh, because it's waterproof I learned that from the expedition I was keeping the Gore-Tex jacket on top and this in the middle as a, as a middle layer and then my t-shirt uh, underneath mostly because I didn't expect it's going to be so difficult uh, path and I got the storm bag underneath the Gore-Tex and the Gore-Tex doesn't um, slip uh, it, it slips uh, it, they said it's like 20,000 millimeters of waterproof and that's kind of a bullshit thing to say because the jacket is also uh, breathable it's not really rainproof or uh, waterproof uh, so when you have like a down jacket inside 
and that's also not very waterproof it's going to you're going to get really cold and wet and that's what happened on my expedition and uh, the down is a little bit lighter it's a little bit more well well more expensive and more it has a hood on so it's kind of a very nice really nice jacket to have and I found an old discount it's really I, I actually I actually uh, spare me $100 if you actually just have the eyes to do some research when, when you are uh, buying things I think this is ready guys Setting here so I can see what I'm looking at. Ah, bright, bright as well. Nice. I think it's time for making some food. I have uh, my uh, water boiling here. I should leave it too far so it's kind of almost boiled out. But I have some uh, food outdoors, trek and eat. I've been keeping for a long time. It's uh, Ukraine pasta with uh, noodles and some beef. It's not really very fancy this time but I kind of didn't have the uh, money to buy some very food uh, nice thing to have it's not very very fancy yeah normally I make it some very good food with I'm outdoors but this time didn't have uh, something uh, nice thing to have out well is uh, before you go to bed is some uh, tea uh, it's not as much coffee as uh, as uh, coffee it's a nice warm um, uh, drink uh, before you go to bed and go to the toilet and go to the toilet and uh, um, have some nice warm drink uh, drink a lot of water also as well and uh, eat some food before you go to bed yeah so it's coming down quite a lot now and I actually have the, the tarp set her up on the wrong way because I, I didn't saw it will come down as much so it's kind of the, the wrong way but it doesn't really do much because it's uh, snow so I think I'm going to set up uh, this um, tarp this front of the tarp, we're going to set up that behind, like there, and we're going to use like those sides to stop it down to the ground, so I can have a little bit more protection from the weather. Okay, so normally you shouldn't take your gloves on. Uh, but it's a good thing that these tents also actually have some some strop there that can, uh, because that is very cold you can take those instead and nice and you need lax like a hammer and then we just let's see oh 
like a little house now. Look at that, so cozy. Oh, anyway, it's not really that cold actually. I was just keeping my um, my, uh, um, my hood just to show you. But inside here, from my hood, if you want to sleep well, I have a mid layer. See? I have a mid layer. I actually do that. Couldn't do that before. See? This middle layer is from wool and synthetic, so you can actually wash this in um, in the washing ma machine when it's not uh, wool. You can actually wash this uh, uh, if it's really dirty. You can actually wash it in regular, and that's a good thing. And inside here you have a netting. Uh, it's also from the Armour Force, I believe you can get it if you can buy the Klima one, really nice. And this is normally what I usually sleep with, this uh, netting and the wool, only that. Perhaps I will also um, put on my uh, balaclava, this is uh, also from the Armour Forces. You have watched me wearing this a long time. I actually turn it around so it's white instead. Uh, to have something on your head, or you can you actually wear this lightweight hood uh, on top. That it's also good. Uh, I don't wear my pants. I don't wear really um, tight uh, wool uh, things. Uh, I think. Many p and my socks I normally change to a little bit warmer, but I like to keep the airflow, the space, especially inside there because it has to do a lot with activity. If you uh, have too much clothing and you keep uh, on a on a um, on a place still for a long time, you warm you there and there uh, but you may also start to get cold because your blood doesn't flow and because you have done the, the you don't have the space the same air you keep normally at home um, so you kind of need to balance it out a little bit and not to wear too much because I see many wear too much layers and especially those who are sleeping on hammocks if I'm very active on the woods, I wear a less clothing on, but I normally also wear less clothing on, on on the sleeping bag because there are my layers, and I don't really need that, those outer layers anymore, you know. So I don't need to have like five or six, seven layers. You only need to have three, um, depending on the weather, really. Kind of a crappy beef noodles pasta. Kind of compared to Real Tech. But this is what we have, so. Let's make the best of, our, of this. Yeah, yeah, as you know, the outer layer that I normally use the most here is the. Lima Loft from uh, Cryptek, this is the Aegis jacket, uh, really good but it's not waterproof, that either, but it's more warm than uh, any jacket that I normally use unless it's really good, really good for the price. Yeah, nice. Not very good but also a little bit spicy at the end as well. Okay. I fill up with the uh, muck beer now. It's a regular beer. Regular beer. Very good. 
doesn't need to be much more fancy actually like this one better <laughs> the other one was a little bit I don't know too sour perhaps I really like to re imperial stout but uh, didn't feel like an imperial stout I had actually one other beer as well but um, my car we was celebrating um, Christmas up on the mountains uh, really nice weather really nice I was uh, about to head out outdoors there but the kind of the uh, whole family got sick and um, we kind of head home instead I'm really glad we did that actually we was uh, having a really nice time yesterday at how home and getting better and nice. anyway um, my car wouldn't start because it's 11 years old now and I need some starting cables again and uh, uh, I found one guy of 15 people that I asked for start cables he had and I gave him a stout uh, stout that my wife gave to me stout beer um, I was supposed to have here uh, today but I was very glad to give that beer to him and thank you for helping me so I bought some star cables now because I normally have but when we had to sell uh, one of our cars or well, it wasn't ours it was my father or uh, stepfather old Volvo we have some star cables there and I haven't been able to buy some uh, since then kind of been low on my priority list so I bought starts cables on the way down on the gas station and was really expensive <laughs> but that's the thing about emergencies you always been expensive I think I'm going to go to bed soon guys and I'm going to just relax cut out the filming, spare some batteries and um, having a nice time for my own now and uh, uh, taking care of this fire a little bit go to bed and see you tomorrow so good night good morning guys it's I believe it's 8 o'clock 22 I stood up uh, an hour ago slept whole uh, night it's around uh, zero degrees now so it's warmer but this is the kind of weather I don't like camping when uh, it's snow and then it gets to rain um, I will make some breakfast now uh, because I'm heading out around 10 and I will, uh, instead of creeping out of the, of the, uh, of the bag, I will prepare my stove. That's the reason I have the stove with me. I don't have too much fuel, so I need to be efficient. If you get depleted, I need to start a fire again. Okay, so I think. I prepare it there. I have a new uh, silencer on the top. I'm uh, a little bit unsure if I will make it. It's difficult to see when I have it lighted now. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't melt the. almost the same I had in the army 
the the lock looks the same. It's uh, more silence that way. I have my water there. I have my food here. The juice. I'm going to eat some uh, chocolate muesli from Realtek. Something is not right. Take me back to the. There we go. That blue flame, that's what we want. A big difference from uh, the sound from the old uh, setup. It's really silent. That's nice. Make this stove even better. Nice. Slept really warm. Uh, I have like minus 12 down, 12. And the Fjell Duken it provides me with perhaps six degrees more <coughs> of warm. And then I have the liner and down quilt. Uh, sorry, down sleeping pad for minus 30. Uh, so really warm um, yeah and also I have a wool blanket underneath that it's really not, not necessary but it helps like keeping all my things warm and um, cozy mm. oh, it smells really nice I don't know if it is the packaging also that provides such good coffee. It's quite, quite, um, I really like the red light. It kind of gives you just enough light for seeing. Kind of more stealth way. This light and uh, that silent, uh, silent stealth, um, you know, yeah, coffee. Perfect. <coughs> Perfecto. Now it's getting light. I cannot have the. The rotary light that is uh, providing me with some light, but this, the battery is dying because it's really flat. Also put my uh, bigger lamp just in case I need it. And I have the, the one that I have on top that has been recharging. When you are filming, doing things like this, you really need to, to, you really need to um, have some light, especially here in Norway on the winter time. So that's the reason I carry three lights. I actually have four <laughs> as well, <laughs> but uh, yeah.
nice to have a big tarp uh, started raining so I will pack this up now so I will be heading home hey guys my uh, I have packed all of the things now I'm going to head this camera is getting really wet now so I hope you like this video and see you next year happy new year to all bye